subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. In Python, a for loop is a powerful construct that allows you to iterate over a sequence, such as a list, tuple, string, or range, and perform a certain set of actions for each item in the sequence. To enhance the functionality of the for loop, you can use a counter variable to keep track of the iteration number. This tutorial will guide you through the usage of a for loop with a counter in Python, providing code examples for better understanding. The basic syntax of a for loop in Python is as follows. Here, variable represents the current item in the iteration, and iterable is the sequence of items to iterate over. To introduce a counter to the for loop, you can use the built-in enumerate function. This function returns both the index and the value of each item in the iterable, allowing you to easily keep track of the iteration number. Output In this example, the enumerate function is used to create tuples of index and fruit for each iteration. The for loop then unpacks these tuples into the index and fruit variables. Alternatively, you can create your own counter variable and manually increment it within the loop. This approach is useful when you need more control over the counter. Output In this example, a custom counter variable counter is initialized before the loop, and it is manually incremented within the loop. Using a for loop with a counter in Python provides a convenient way to keep track of the iteration number. Whether using the enumerate, function or a custom counter variable, you can enhance the functionality of your loops and make your code more expressive and readable. Experiment with these examples, and consider incorporating counters into your for loops in real-world scenarios to efficiently manage iterations in your Python programs. Chat GPT Certainly Here's an informative tutorial on using a for loop with a counter in Python. In Python, a for loop is a fundamental control flow statement used to iterate over a sequence of elements such as lists, tuples, strings, etc. Often, you might need to keep track of the iteration count within a loop. This is where a counter comes in handy. We'll explore how to use a for loop with a counter to keep track of iterations using Python. The basic syntax of a for loop in Python is as follows. Python provides a built-in function called enumerate, that helps in adding a counter to an iterable object like a list. It returns both the index and the value of each element as you iterate through the sequence. Let's say you have a list of items and you want to print each item along with its index using a for loop with a counter. In situations where you don't use enumerate, you can create a custom counter variable and manually increment it within the loop. Using a for loop with a counter is a convenient way to keep track of iterations while iterating through sequences in Python. The enumerate function simplifies this process by providing both the index and the value during each iteration. Now you have a good understanding of how to incorporate a counter within a for loop in Python to track iteration counts. This tutorial covers the basics of using a for loop with a counter in Python using both the enumerate function and a manual counter variable. Feel free to experiment further with loops and counters in Python to enhance your understanding. ChatGPT